So we have our napkins and other pieces of fabric that we are going to use for our lavender bags. Here's a couple that I have pre-cut out. And I'm just going to show you how to cut out. So you've got a fabric, often it will have um, down the edge there what's called a salvage. So what you want to do is fold that in on itself like that. So we can place the pattern, which I've got written there, fold on the fold of the fabric. And that gives you um, one less seam that you have to edge on the sewing machine. So we've pinned that there. And then we're going to quickly cut that out. With regards to the napkins, so this one here I'm not going to do anything with, even though it's slightly bigger than our pattern, that's fine, um, because this one's already got edges on it, so we're just going to have to straight stitch around the edge, so I'm just going to quickly pin that, that's the bottom here, and we'll make that the top, the opening where the lavender is going to go. Now, this napkin here is quite big, so you could, if you have one like that, you could just choose to cut it in four, which would make it slightly smaller than our pattern piece. But then you would get four bags out of that. So it's up to you what you would like to do. I'm just going to cut it. So now we pin our um, cutouts up ready to sew, except for this one here, the edge is going to fray if we don't do something with it. So um, what I'm going to do is uh, zigzag along the edges there. With this one, um, the same thing. I will um, zigzag the edges. This one will just have a straight stitch. And this one here, we are also going to zigzag. But I've decided that this one, I'm going to add a bit of lace, just to add a bit of interest. I haven't chosen to do that with the other um, cutouts because I think that they uh, have enough interest in their pieces. But it's totally up to you, you know, maybe you'd like to add a bit of lace to that one, something like that. Keeping in mind too that when you finish and you want to tie it off, you could just um, tie it like that with a bit of lace to add a bit of extra interest. But we'll go into that uh, once we've sewn up our pieces. Sides together. Pin. Okay. 
then we straight stitch. I'm going to get, oops, put it back into straight stitch. This one here I have zigzagged just at the top. This one here we have first we zigzagged the top, then we straight stitched, and then we zigzagged around the edge. This one here we have zigzagged also around the edges, and this one just straight stitch because. Yes, we do need to trim off the threads, but we turn it in right side out, and our bag is nearly finished. Okay, and we also need to just go around the edges of this one with the zigzag. to trim off all those threads but I just wanted to show you that what we do then is just turn that over like that and just give it a very narrow hem And then we turn the machine back to straight stitch and place that just under the foot there and along the guide there. Of course, if you have an overlocker, you can just edge all the edges with the overlocker, and then you don't need to do a straight stitch and a zigzag stitch. So we would do the same with this bag, fold over the top, pin, and then stitch around there again. With this one, I'm going to add some lace before I do anything else. 
So we would do that zigzag around this whole piece of plain fabric. Then I'm going to cut out a piece of lace that will uh, fit across the top. Pin that together so you've got the right sides of the lace and the uh, fabric together. Of course, some lace does it's not obvious if there is a right side. So then we just quickly sew. I put it back in straight stitch. up and fold that down like that and quickly so close to the edge That will make, will help make the lace stand up. So I've just made that a little bit too long, so I will just trim that there. Then uh, we put those right sides right sides together and and then just starting a little bit down from the top quite on the edge, we will just do a couple of stitches, then a little bit of a back stitch. Practically done. Now what we need to do is turn it in the right way. Now if you find that you're not getting a nice tidy corner, you can trim the corner there taking the scissors and cutting across the corner just make sure that you don't cut too close to this straight stitch there there and trim up our threads
Now, of course, you can see that there's a little bit of stuff that's come off there. You can trim that up too, and um, it's not going to, nothing's going to happen because this will be filled with lavender and you won't be washing it, but the zigzag will stop it from fraying anyway. The person who you're giving it to decides that they want to wash it. Yeah, those corners are looking a little bit better. Just use a little pin to pull up the corner gently. So if you're too hard, you'll pull a thread. So um, I've put some lavender in a container there and what we're going to do is just tip it in, trying not to get it everywhere. And then we just need to keep adding it until we're happy with the amount of lavender that is in the bag so that when we put the tie on it's a little bit fuller than that. So we've got all our bags filled. Now we need to select what we're going to tie them up with. Now I've cut off a piece of fabric which I thought would look quite Cool on this retro looking lavender bag. And I've got some gold ribbon. Um, that might go quite nicely with that one. Just tie it to the length that you want. If you want to, you can tie a knot on it. If you're concerned that the lavender might fall out. And maybe we'll make this one Christmassy looking. Oh, perhaps the person that you're giving to loves red. We need to um, trim the edges. We can use nail polish just to stop the edges from fraying on the ribbon. And maybe a bit of lace on this one, which was the serviette that I didn't cut and I sewed it up. And then we have this one, um, or maybe a bit of string, or another piece of ribbon, there's some bluey colours in that one. It's really up to you and look you're going for the person you're giving it to and where it's going to go. So then, of course, you would trim that one up. And there we have it. A number of different ways of making lavender bags for yourself or a friend, Christmas gift, or just to give away to somebody who's maybe having not a good time. Just a, you know, a handy little gift to have.